Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for the semi-final of the Earthshakers tournament. Ooh, we're getting close to the conclusion. And yes, we've got three matches to tuck into here. Starting off with Pinocosaurus going up against Armadus. Desantara is taking on Tijongosaurus. And probably the biggest match in this video, Cychania taking on Europlocephalus. So without further ado, let's get on with the first matchup. Commentary team is, well, more of course. Okay then. Oops. <laughs> Forgot to get the random number generator up. Anyway, as I say, in the red corner we have a Pinocosaurus. This Pinocosaurus has impressed so far. Probably been the surprise package of this tournament. Defeating Tank in the first round before getting past Panoplosaurus in the quarters. However, it will be tough because in the blue corner we have the Armatus. Armatus has looked quite impressive in this tournament so far. Getting two fine victories in its path to the semis. Can it get past the Pinocosaurus or can the Pinocosaurus spring another surprise? Oop, that's a tie. Uh, ties don't really favour anyone at this point since neither of our combatants have any moves to take advantage of said time. But it is Armatus that gets off the first hit, and the quacking of the Galley Rush means that Galley Rush is coming. Oosh. Oosh. Oh, it's no rib cage. Trying to stop its lungs from functioning there. Oh, look, there's the Alpha Ball. In comes the Galley Rush. Boosh. A good start from Armatus there. Lots of damage dealt. And the Rock Roller has been triggered. Ooh, but the Pinocosaurus striking back with a diving press. Boosh. Oh, look at that. Right on the throat. That was a good animation, actually. Okay, that's... Ooh, ooh. Is Armatus dead? I think this might be Nifa? Or he'll leave Armatus with a smidge of health. Which one will it be? A smidge of health. But look at this, Pinocosaurus turning this match around. Oh, well, until Armatus got off a rock roller and won. But yeah, Armatus looking a bit nearly there. Especially when the Pinocosaurus was striking back. Boosh! But a well-timed rock roller is going to crush the Pinocosaurus and give Armatus a 1-0 lead. But that was definitely a tight match. There's still plenty to play for. Wait for the animations to finish first. But yes, it's a 1-0 lead for Armatus. As we move on to round two. Right, Dio, then. Round two. Ooh, it's a showdown on the beach. Can the Pinocosaurus strike back? Or can the Armatus book their place in the final three? Come on, Pinocosaurus. You can do it. You can get one back. Um, not with a start like that. Armatus getting the crit. And getting the rock roller triggered. Type. Another type. Tides favour Armatus now because it does have more health left. Ooh, I think Armatus might have just won. Well, it's going to be a triple headbutt, so it won't do too much damage. But I think the Galley Rush might finish it. Okay, yeah, that's that's leaf off a Pinocosaurus. Overkilled it anyway. And he got the poison off, because why not? And Galley Rush got to come in as well to add insult to injury. Boosh. I think the Pinocosaurus is dead. I'm pretty sure. The stake, the Armatus wanted to make sure that the Pinocosaurus was dead, and it is. And that will put Armatus in the final. Could Armatus be the first anime dino to win a tournament? A mini tournament, I should say. Well, it's definitely gotten further than... Well, except for Brontokins, who made it all the way to the final. But yeah, Armatus looking pretty solid there. 
and it could win all. It could win this tournament. But enough about that matchup. On to our second matchup of the semi-final round, which sees the Desantoraurus going up against the Tejongosaurus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have a Desantoraurus, our local hero here, still in this tournament surprisingly. Dominated against the Polar Canthus in the first round, and got an impressive win against the Tarkia in the quarterfinals. But this will be its toughest test so far. Actually no, I think the Tarkia was tougher. This will still be a tough test though, because in the blue corner, we have the King of the Crets, the Tejongosaurus. And trust me when I say Tejongosaurus is the King of Crets, because it is. That rock roller, maxed up with power. If it gets that off, this will be a very quick match. Actually, now that I think about it, this is basically defense versus attack because the Santororus is more focused on defense than attack. But it's worked for our local hero so far. Um. Okay, so far, not so good. Oh my god. Wow. It's basically dead. Look at that. That was a normal crit. If that was Rock Roller, I think the Santororus would have been dead. King of the Crits showing us why it's the King of the Crits. I got better pause. Okay, that's a six. Ooh, the Santorora striking back. And getting a much needed light recovery. And defense boost is probably not going to help if Tejongosaurus gets off a rock roller. Not bad. However, Earth Barrier will definitely help. A much needed hit there by the Desantorus. And it will stop Tejongosaurus from insta winning with Rock Roller. Ties favour Desantorus because it is tight. So keep the ties coming and Desantorus could win this. Ooh, look at this from Desantorus turning it around. And all of a sudden. The Sancharurus has a sizable lead. Tejongosaurus is desperate to get off a crit. But let's not forget that the Sancharurus still has Earth Barrier in effect. But it's not gonna need it, because Tejongosaurus is gone. Well, despite that opening crit from the Tejongosaurus, the resilience of the Sancharurus came through for it, and it has a 1-0 lead. Could we see a shock on the cards? Let's find out in round two. Alrighty then, round two between these two Stegosaurs. And so far, it's a 1-0 lead for the defense-minded Desantorus. However, do not count Tejongosaurus out yet. One rock roller can change everything. Oh, that's a tie. But again, ties favour the Sancharurus more. The Sancharurus getting a hit! If it keeps it up, I think it might win this match. Although, not too much damage dealt, so nothing that Tejongosaurus can't recover. Oh, finally Tejongosaurus getting a hit. And it's a critical block as well. Although, because his other two moves are so weak, the Tejongosaurus won't do too much damage. But Rock Roller will get triggered. However, because the Sancharurus' paper move is gone, Tejongosaurus will be going for Rock. As will the Sancharurus. Three and a six. Another tie. Ooh, Tejongosaurus getting off another hit. And young gear a dive is gonna help. But what a contest this is been so tight. Ooh, light recovery imminent. Defense boost incoming. Will we see Earth Barrier? Oh we do! And look at this! Centaurus, one hit away. Oh, but the 
Jongasaurus gets the hit. Well, they, well, Oof Barry is going to limit the damage. Wow, this Desantororus is a beast. Oh, a chance missed. I think that's Tajongasaurus gone. Oh, it survived. How did it survive? Another Earth Barrier. This is just insane. Desantororus is just completely on top. Yep. Well, you have to say, what a performance from Desantororus. Completely nullifying the Tajongasaurus and his super-powered crypt. An absolutely solid display by our local hero. And Desantororus is in the final. Well, that's two semi-final matches down. One to go. We have Armatus in the final. Desantororus in the final. Who will it be? Who will join them? Will it be Cychania? Or will it be Euoplocephalus? Let's find out. Alright, then in the red corner we have a well, Cychania. The purple hedgehog itself. No surprise he's got to the semi-final. Get an impressive wins over Euoplocephalus. And who else did he defeat? I can't remember now. But anyway, in the blue corner we have the equally impressive Euoplocephalus. Now this Euoplocephalus defeated Ankylosaurus. And it defeated Talaros on its journey to the semis, but this will be its toughest test by so far. I don't know who has the edge here. I think Euoplocephalus has the edge here because it does have more attack than the Cychania. But Cychania does have a better crit. Of course, we see that that can also be a weakness, as we saw in the last matchup with the Tijonosaurus. So yeah, I think Euopocephalus does have an e the edge here. But yeah, in even match, this, this could go either way. But so far, Euopocephalus on top. However, I will say, ties do favour Cychania more, because it is tight. Ooh, that definitely favours Cychania more. An earthquake and a light recovery. Turning the screw. Boosh. Oh, definitely turning the screw. Look at that. I mean, a paltry amount of health gained, but... Euoplocephalus one hit away from defeat. But, not down yet. As it does get off a stun dash, and all that means is button spamming time. This is a beast attack. What an even contest this. Both of our combatants on low health. Who has enough fuel left in the tank? The answer to that is you up the Cephalus. It's going to be taking a 1 0 lead. Boosh, boosh. I mean, it doesn't matter if I slap these, the Cygenia is going to die. Boosh, boosh, boosh. You want the Cephalus? 1-0 up. But, again, don't count the Cygenia out yet. It can still come back in round two. All right, then. Round two, a clash in the Colosseum, which is fitting for these two goals. You want the Cephalus has the 1-0 one, one lead, but it was quite a tight match, and it could have gone either way, so... There are plenty to play for. I just really I think they both have yellow eyes. Ooh, what a start from the Cychania. Just the start they would have wanted. An earthquake to shake things up. Wow, look at that damage. Beastly start from Cychania there. And, oh, oh, you got the is dead. Um, well, that was quick. As quick as you can say Sonic the Hedgehog, Cychania has even the score. We have to let the animation play out first, even though we know how it's going to end. Wait, hang on a minute, Cychania looks like it's in the ground. What's that all about, Sega? <laughs> Sega, Sega, Sega. 
you made Dinosaur King and then you now you neglect it. Sega. But anyway, enough about how bad Sega treated Dinosaur King. We got a match to finish. And it's going to be one hell of a finish with both of our combatants level pecking. Although that last matchup wasn't really level pecking. So Jenny got off two earthquakes and one. But let's move on to round three. Alright then, round three. The final clash for these golds. Unless it ends in a tie, in which case we'll have another clash between these two. But hopefully we'll have a winner. Although I wouldn't mind the top. It would make things a lot more interesting. But no, I, I suspect we'll have a winner this time. Oh, look at that. The Cychania went for the quick, cheap earthquake, but the Euoplocephalus didn't fall for it. Instead, Euoplocephalus gets off the first hit. Wait, what did I click? I think I clicked paper. Okay, well, it doesn't matter, because Cychania would have won. So, yes, a big hit coming from Cychania. Light recovery coming as well. Not much health gained though. Oh, that's a tie. Ties favour Cychania more. But a hit from the Uoplocephalus. Another Kamikaze tackle. Uoplocephalus coming back into it. And actually taking the lead. Although it's not much of a lead. Oh, that's another tie. Oh, we might have a draw. Um, no, we're not going to have a draw. Instead, Cychania is going to get off another Earthquake and win this matchup. Okay, based on this matchup, I don't think uh, I don't think my little um, misclick affected anything. I think even if the Cychania used Tail Smash instead of Earthquake, it would that Earthquake there would have killed Uoplocephalus. So. Yeah, I think, I think that's okay. But, yes, is Cychania advancing to the finals? Euoplocephalus falling at the last hurdle. Well, second to last hurdle. It's got one, it would have had one more hurdle to pass. But Cychania turning it around after a 1-0 deficit. And yes, that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the semi-final round. So let's have a look at our format and have a look at the final three. There's our final three, ladies and gentlemen. We have Armatus, Desantorus, and Cychania in the final three. And based on what I, based on that, well, Desantorus is definitely the underdog of the three. These two are more, the more favourites. But yeah, this could be a very interesting finale. Like, I, I can't call it. I really can't call it. I, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if, no matter who won. I'm also glad that for the sake of my main tournament, that we had, we didn't have a gold win dinosaur win otherwise I, I wouldn't be able to do the rule where you're only allowed two golds because Parasaurolophus won so Parasaurolophus is going to be in the champions team Sejuangosaurus is going to be in the champions team and one of these three is going to be in it which one of these three you're just going to have to find out in the next video and until then if you enjoyed the semi-final matches please leave a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on that fine finale and until then this is Stranger Gamer signing out